My name is Travis Hughes, I'm 16 years of age and I ride for Kink Bikes, Odyssey BMX and Van Shoes. I usually ride with the Common Crew, aka Jacob Cable, Francis Castro, Sauce the Boss, Alex Simon, Ethan Corriere, Denim Cox, Devin Smiley, Julian Ortega, probably missing a few but it's, it's cool. I started off building dirt jumps like around the corner from my house when I was a youngin. The city where I lived just always kept tearing down our dirt jumps that we were building and so from then on there I just put pegs on and just started riding street and just took off from there. Just loved it ever since. Travis Hughes initially hit my radar by word of Jacob Cable. We had started hooking up Jacob a couple months earlier and uh, Jacob told me he had this cousin that rode as well and he was pretty good. A little bit of time went by and some of our dudes were uh, riding like a pretty popular Long Beach spot and Travis like came along and those guys immediately hit me up and were like, hey, Jacob's cousin, Travis is like, he's the real deal. You know, he's like 13. And I heard that and obviously I took it a little more seriously, but he's young and I hadn't met him yet personally, which is like a pretty big part of getting on kink in the first place. And um, honestly, he put out a web edit like maybe a couple weeks after hearing those guys. Yeah, I kind of hit him up one day just to come out and film because he was like, he's doing all this stuff, all this shit that like, I've never seen anyone do before, at least not in my friend group, you know? Like switch whips and like good size switch threes and all this crazy like ambidextrous riding style stuff, you know? He wasn't a sponsored, a sponsored rider or anything, but I still figured I'd like offer the footage to like a media company because it was like on that level. That's kind of when he blew up. I remember it getting like thousands of like Facebook shares and like a bunch of media sites and stuff. Definitely everyone was like buzzing on it on like Twitter and everything. Like the internet was definitely Travis's for that day. And that was the first time that I was actually like introduced to his riding besides seeing like homie clips and some random clips that Daryl filmed. And I immediately was like, I want this kid representing Kink right now. He's got good taste, he's got style. More importantly than all that is he's not a nerd. He can hang with Sean Sexton, he can hang with Chris Doyle, he can hang with Dan Collar, he can hang with his cousin Jacob, and everyone's stoked. And that's not something that's easy to find these days. Yeah, he's just a really relaxed bike rider and really confident, I think. I think he knows, actually, you know what, I don't think he even really knows what he can do. He just kind of tries things that interest him and he lands them, you know. Please tell me that counts. He'll do some mind-boggling trick and just kind of shrug it off and act like it's no big deal <laughs> or like everybody can do that trick or something. He can annihilate anything and everything that he touches, whether it be dirt, park, street, a curb even. The kid is incredible to watch ride and like his progression levels are off the charts and I mean you've seen his riding. I don't need to say anymore. He, it's insane. A lot of kids got the tricks. Um, a lot of kids have cool personalities or they're funny or they're good on camera, but not everyone has both. And when coming across someone like that in the form of Travis is like, we couldn't ask for a better up and coming rider to be representing Kink.
Thank you.